Okay, so day 41 and I got this in the mail. This came in it, this jersey. Um, I don't, I think it's a little small. It's a small, um, I'm six foot one. I'm pretty sure I opted in for a medium, but whatever, it's cycling. I've just been told smaller is better. It is quite short, so I'm uh, showing it all. Um, but that being said, it's day 41 two weeks out from the race. So this video is going to dive into the questions and the answers that I have for the ride to conquer cancer. And a lot of people are asking me what's next. 41 videos in a row. I didn't think I was going to make it. 41 videos in a row and here I am wondering what's next. So Ride to Conquer Cancer, two weeks away. I'm coming from Victoria, if you don't know where that is. It's on Vancouver Island. It's an island. you got to catch a ferry to Vancouver. It's not exactly easy to start the race. I've looked at transportation. It leaves at 4 o'clock in the morning and 4.05 or 4.10 from a hotel. The funny thing that I'm seeing is it goes from the hotel to the race, but then on Sunday, it doesn't go from the race to the hotel. I might have that wrong, but that's what it says. No transport from the race to anywhere else back. The thing is, to give you an idea, Cloverdale isn't exactly in Vancouver, so it's not really Vancouver to hope. Cloverdale's like a suburb. Like, how do you explain it? Like, you know, when you say Disneyland's in LA, it's really not. Anaheim's really far away from, like, the, the central hub of LA. That's kind of like Coverdale. Coverdale's, like, outside of Vancouver. Uh, there's not really a lot of tr transportation, like, in the way of BC Transit or, or TransLink or whatever you call it, that goes out there. So it's a little, it's uh, kind of out of the way. So I'm just trying to figure that out. I might get an Airbnb because i got to do media dumps and, and stuff with that. And I still got to make sure that you guys are following along in the journey. So two weeks out, a lot of the questions that I have are transport. i got to get my bike over there. i got to catch a ferry. People coming out of town. It's, it's kind of tricky. Um, but, you know, over the next two weeks, we're going to figure it all out. We're going to add it into videos and see what's the best option to help you guys for either this year or the coming years of what to do if you're coming from out of town. Also, a lot of people are asking me, what's next? Bill Fry from the Built Trek Bike Store mentioned to me, he says, hey, you're at this far, where are you gonna go next? So I created a poll on this channel. On the channel, I gave you a bunch of options. What do you guys wanna see? Because I'm thinking this is gonna be chapter one. So why not create chapter two that's targeted towards intermediate cycling? I figured I'm already a cyclist. I got wax legs. I look like a cyclist. I'm, I'm wearing the smallest shirt possible. Um, but yeah, I just figured, wow, let's take it a step further. Uh, train for something abroad. Train for something just add this and that and everything else but i want to hear from you guys either comment below or go to the poll Re reply comment maybe it's further into nutrition maybe it's cycling gear maybe it's cycling help from like different coaches maybe it's it's training off the bike you know like what what do you want to you guys want to see uh so all that being said it's day 41 two weeks out from the Ride to Conquer Cancer. And I think one of the biggest hurdles is also raising $2,500, which I thought would be easy, but it's not. I'm working full time and I'm editing a video and posting a video every day, plus trying to raise $2,500. So there's a donation link below 
two weeks out and stay tuned there's gonna be a lot coming your way oh yeah don't forget to comment like and subscribe if you subscribe you can see all the future videos coming up because there's a lot of videos coming your way